introduce this. Thank you, everyone. This is uh, Christopher Best. Uh, he's working with both myself and Fallon Charlie in business, looking at the decline, in, decline of retention at Jacksonville State University using two different softwares and platforms he's been using in an independent study with Dr. Turley and in my advanced programming classes with myself. So, Christopher Best. So as uh, Dr. Shiken said, I'm looking at retention. Um, it's an ongoing process, so I'm going to demonstrate how I find um, my factors um, that could cause retention to decline. So we start with the, uh, the data set taken straight from the admissions office. And it's a little messy. There's some sales missing. So of course, you have your Y for yes on um, the, it's the Pell Grant um, indicator. So, but there's no no's. So that is not really good for demonstrating that with visualizations. So my first step was to take it to, to R and I wrote this script that would clean out my data. I would filter to full time and first time freshman. That was one of the things I started out with because that's what we wanted to focus on. I also wanted to focus on Alabama for how short I had to prepare this so I did not get to any other states. Um, I also had to mutate um, all of the degrees that were listed into their respective colleges. Um, not all of them are listed because for shortness of time I had to um, just do the ones that were in this data set. When we make this project bigger, I will have every single um, degree listed so that this will automate so I don't have to do this ever again. Um, we also changed the, the races so we there's not really enough data with this data set to do um, every single race. Um, we had to combine some of them, so we had three. Um, we have African-American, white, and other. That was the uh, best way I could figure out how to split it. Um, we also fixed the NA values. Uh, we had to change, or I had to change all the columns to um, character values instead of numeric. It was a lot easier to assign a value that was numeric. And then this is where I fixed all the NA values for every single column. I also had to change um, the county. So the county um, on the original data had the state, um, the state name first. So it would say AL or GA for Georgia. Um, so I had to get rid of that. And then I would have to change um, the county to lowercase and then capitalize the first letter. So when I use it in a later program, ArcGIS, um, I was able to join the data together um, with a shapefile, and uh, that's why I had to do that. Um, then I had to rename the columns because uh, they're all capitalized. They all have like shortened words, so I wanted to make sure that was more uh, more uh, viewable, I guess. Well, it just it makes sense. Um, then we moved on to we took this data set, which will look like this when we get done with it. So I have. Um, it all is full now. There's no NA values anywhere. We took this data set to Tableau and I was able to make these visualizations um, through each of these sheets on the bottom down here. Um, I can make my visualizations. And when you highlight over them, you will get some what are called tooltips, and that will show the amount, um, if they were retained or not for, for the red part, and if they were not retained for as the gray part. And I was able to do multiple um, charts, and I could set this up however I wanted to do that. Um, and then when the data set we cleaned, we also went to ArcGIS, where I was able to make a map, and I could hover over it or click on it, and I could see in which county um, if they had a yes or no for retention. So um, for St. Clair, we had 22 students that were not retained to the next year, but we did have 40. And the colors indicate the darker the color, the more students we retain from that area. Um, in the future, I can do two charts side by side, two graph, two maps side by side, and I can have one that's darker for yes, reten for yes retention, and then one darker for no retention. So we can definitely see through both of those maps where retention is in the county. And then you can mesh all of it together with a uh, story map. So this is my story map. 
in progress. Um, start out Santa Ana Decon, <coughs> retention at Jackson State University, kind of give a little background, and then I can embed, uh, I embedded my uh, Tableau dashboard, so it takes a little second to, to load. Um, so it pops back out to its original size, so now I have that to where everybody can see that. Um, and then I can also incorporate my map. So in the future, I want to do, probably split up a dashboard and do two dashboards based on certain factors together. And then I might have multiple maps and I can insert paragraphs and talk about it all of it. And that's, that's how my store map would go. Um, any questions? So in your state map here, does the saturation level indicate percent retained or amount retained? Count. It's a count of retained. Okay. So that would be, um, if I go back to ArcGIS, it'll show the key. I did not put the key on that map. I, did, I just missed that. But So the dark red is 24 to 180 students. Right, which is where we get a lot of our students from, so it makes sense. Yes. We're saturated. Yes. On the slide where you have the bar graphs retention by college? Uh, yes. This, uh, is that retained to that college? Or like, could a student have stayed at JSU but moved from arts and humanities to business and then it shows that they weren't retained or they are retained? So that is retained if by their what they started out as. So they could have moved to a different one. I don't necessarily know that. Um, that's not in the data if they moved to a different college. In the Sorry, in the storyboard, is that what you're Story saying? map, yes. Story map, sorry. Um, I, and you might have mentioned this. Is this map interactive too? Yes, so like I can, 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 can highlight it, it like you did earlier? Oh, yeah. well, okay. Well, that's, so, that's, yeah, that's it's, it's, it's still the same functionality as the RGIS map. Oh, I just okay. made it to where yeah. I can share it. That's great. <laughs> oh, also, this, this story map can be shared with anyone in my organization. So my organization is Dr. Shikedi's class. And that's, if you have an, my Azure account, you're able to see this dashboard if I publish it. Mm -hmm. Yes? You can also link it onto a website. I can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sorry. So where you can manipulate the data and then automatically publish. Yes. So when I go to publish it, I can select that I can have the data keep updating or I can keep it stacked. Did you define retained? Are we talking one year, first year, fall to fall? Um, it should be first year to second year. Okay. So after summer. Yes. Yeah. So to be clear on that, we're receiving this data from the admissions. Correct. We're not uh, altering it on how that's defined or understood. So uh, what? Uh, the first, first data set is actually pulled from a SQL database, and that is literally how it comes out. It even has a little page where they have the SQL code for it for those categories, or columns. And we intend to put the R code inside your map as well in the next story map in the future, correct? So that way we can yes, that way we can process from year to year as the retention changes from 2021 to 2021. Yes. Um, I also would probably include um, my GitHub account, which will also have that code on there too. So we can continue to do this. Correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be to where. We can do it in the future as long as we need to. We just have the blueprint. Other questions for our speaker? All right, let's thank them again.